Tony, I... I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything, because I don't want to talk about it. Tony at a loss for words? <laughs> That's a first. It's happened before, and it's never a good sign. He's deeply shaken. Let's be real. We all... We should talk. You're right. Let's talk about how your mother just turned one of my best friends against us. There is nothing you could have done for Dr. Banner. Nothing any of us could have done. Lilith is Lilith, and Banner is only human after all. If you think that, then you don't know him. Bruce was... is... one of the best of us. Good and evil mean nothing to Lilith. A whisper from her and even saints kneel at her feet. That's not what I mean. I've never met a man with more mental and emotional control than Bruce. He knows what it's like to have a voice inside your head telling you to give in. If he couldn't stand up to Lilith, I can't help but question our odds. <sighs> Listen, I know what happened to Bruce isn't your fault. But... But I'd be a fool if I said I trust you completely. You're Lilith's kid. Could your mother turn you the same way she turned Bruce? What if she has already? If that were the case, none of you would be standing here right now. You might be right, which is part of the problem. Oh, I don't know anymore. This is beyond anything I've ever faced before. These people look to me for guidance, but it feels like I'm stumbling around in the dark. You worry too much about the others. I'd say I don't worry enough. If I'd paid more attention, maybe I would have known something was wrong with Bruce. Maybe I could have saved him. If you want to save people, then focus on the enemy instead of those we have lost. That's a bit cold, don't you think? Ask me again when you have lost someone else. When you have lost countless someone else's. I will honor their sacrifice by destroying my mother. You know, I think I might have misjudged you, Hunter. I am the child of the Dark Mother. It is only right for you to be wary. I appreciate that, but the truth is, I was angry about Bruce, and I took it out on you. That's on me. I'm sorry. Let's start over. Hi. I'm Steve Rogers. What do you say we get to know each other? Are all modern soldiers as well-trained as you? I haven't been a soldier since 1945. Then why do they call you Captain America? You could say it was an old nickname that just stuck. You still have not answered my question. Listen, today's soldiers are some of the bravest, most dedicated people I've ever known. But my training was different. I volunteered for a special procedure in hopes of creating the world's first super soldier. It worked, but the man who invented it, Dr. Erskine, was killed soon after. So to answer your question, I'm the only one. There is something about you that I cannot place. You seem different from your friends, almost. <laughs> Older? I suppose so, yes. I get that a lot. Last time I checked, I was 102, but honestly, I stopped counting. It's weird even for me. I was in a plane crash near the end of World War II. Went into the ice in 45 and stayed frozen for, well, long enough. When they finally fished me out, the world I knew was long gone. I understand we have that in common. It has been an adjustment. Believe me. I know. The world has changed a lot since you were last here. But if you need help or just need to talk it out, I'm here. Anytime. How do you like being an Avenger? Maybe it's the soldier in me, but I just like being part of a team. Is that why you created them to begin with? I think you misunderstand. I didn't create the Avengers. 
I was under the impression you were their leader. I'm good with tactics. That's all it is. Believe it or not, I didn't join the Avengers until the first time Bruce quit. He didn't take that well at all. Nearly tore apart New York. Dr. Banner? Impossible. He's a different person when he's angry. You haven't seen anything yet. And still you let him come back? Everyone makes mistakes, Hunter. Ours are just uh, larger than most. I am glad we had a chance to speak, Steve Rogers. I am too, Hunter. You're not too bad at this leadership thing yourself. Starting to feel like I could go another 12 rounds. No time like the present. See you around, Hunter. It doesn't really matter what Tony could have done. We must live with it. me to see you so angry with me as it pains me to lose a valued friend Bruce would be pleased to know you feel as such he appreciates your companionship as well you misunderstand me I do not miss dr. Banner I mourn him yet another soul fallen to your twisted call more lies taught to you by Sarah and her pet witch I do not compel Dr. Banner. I released him. Released him from the shackles of those who've sought to control him his entire life. Such a unique mind. Such a powerful soul. Held in check for so long by his lesser. I cannot help but see the similarity to you, precious child. Will you not allow me to help you achieve the same? To find a true purpose? Achieve peace. Peace? Purpose? You make monsters, Mother. Can you truly not see what you have become? Monster. A human concept. Born of ignorance and fear. Exactly the constructs I seek to free you from. When the time comes, you will stand by my side. Freely. I would never have it otherwise. And I thought I was the one who was dreaming. You have been asleep far too long, child. You must pierce the veil of their false prophecy and... Wake up! Never get used to that. Looking forward to tonight!